Hello everyone, uh, I am Parni Tripathi and uh, I am here to share with you all my first experience with open source. So last year I got selected for uh, Google Summer of Code uh, program and in that program my aim was to develop a RISC-V processor model for the Artsy community. So let me first introduce you all with the uh, Artsy community. It is an open source organization developed by the uh, you know, uh, by the students and professors of University of Campinas, Brazil. So the aim of this uh, platform is to uh, enable people, uh, researchers and students to develop their own processor models for uh, developing their own prototypes and, and uh, test their performance on this platform. Uh, going on to the RISC-V architecture which I implemented, this is an this is an only open source instruction set architecture designed at University of California, uh, University of uh, Berkeley, and uh, it is it is very uh, it is very ad uh, advantages in the terms of uh, when it comes to speed, when it comes to design uh, area and the cost. Now, why risk five? So uh, the main advantage of RISC-V is that it is the only open source uh, instruction set architecture. This allows you to customize it, to develop it and according to your needs and then uh, add features accordingly. The base model of this, uh, this uh, the, the base model is the instruction set, is the integer base model which is a very sim basic simple model and it just has around uh, 40 instructions. So many designers say that uh, when compared to other commercial, uh, commercial uh, architectures, the CPUs designed using this RISC-V architecture is very fast and uh, consumes very less area. The, one of the reasons is that the, uh, the uh, position of the most significant bit is actually fixed and this speeds up the sign extension process, uh, thus making the whole system a lot faster. Now for, uh, uh, for what I contributed uh, in this, during this project was that the uh, Artsy community have this multi-processor system on chip design platform on which you can design your own, MP, uh, design your own MPSOCs and test the, its performance. So by me adding the RISC-V processor model to this MPSOC bench, I was able to improve its uh, analyzing ability and also the verification ability. And uh, using and one can add this RISC-V processor model to uh, your own des uh, design and then test its performance and check whether this uh, design is optimal or not. So I started off by implementing the basic integer, uh, integer instruction set and then uh, further extensions for uh, a single precision floating point and double precision floating point was, were added. The major challenge that I faced during this project was that, current, uh, that back then the RISC-V architecture uh, ISA tool chain only supported 64-bit format, whereas uh, this, uh, this RC platform only supports 32-bit format. So develop, with the help of Dario, another uh, member of the RC community, I was able to develop the 32-bit uh, tool chain and uh, thus ob obviously managed to complete my project. So this was the uh, brief overview of what I did. and. If any one of you is interested in working in the field of computer, computer architecture, uh, you guys can come and talk to me during the coffee or lunch break. Or if you guys have any questions right now, you can ask me. Thank you.